Meet the Pressers with Matt Mallory and Clint Necro. Brought to you by Public Safety and Education and the Trigger Pressers Union. Meet the Pressers is brought to you by Mantis X. Mantis X helps shooters suck less. Next Level Training. Makers of CERT training products. Saber Red. Saber Red has been making men and women cry since 1975. Meet the Pressers is also brought to you by these fine companies, shows, and organizations. Thank you. Hello, my name is Clint Macro. This is Meet the Pressers. Meet the Pressers is a safe place for trigger pressers to talk about guns, gear, gadgets, defensive firearms training, defensive training, political activism, and sometimes religion. Earlier this week, we were at SHOT Show 2024 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And shortly after I left, Matt had the opportunity to sit down and interview someone that I've been trying to talk to for quite a while. A number of years ago, Firearms Owners Against Crime hosted a rally in Ambridge, Pennsylvania, and Donald Trump Jr. was there to talk. At the time, you know, he was campaigning for his father. We hosted that event, and I never got a chance to meet him, and I didn't get a chance to meet him at SHOT Show either, but such is life. So Matt got a chance to sit down and talk to Donald Trump Jr., Dusty Wonderlich of Cordova Financial, and Michael Seifert, who is the CEO of Public Square. Hey everybody, Matt Mallory, Meet the Pressers. We've got uh, some very special guests here. We're going to talk about some awesome things going on in the industry, things that we've been talking about, the buzz, trying to get conservative, pro-gun, Second Amendment companies to, uh, to, to do things that the uh, liberal companies out there are, have been doing for years that we've uh, been biting our tongue, want, not wanting to give them business. We want to give these guys business for sure. So, Sir, good, good to be with you. Having you. Yeah. Good to be having you. So uh, why don't we start out to my right and uh, give us a little bit of information about your company and uh, the, the thought process, the brainchild behind it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, our company is Cordova Financial. Uh, we do buy now, pay later, consumer lending for the shooting sports space. And this really got, um, was born out of the idea that we're all big 2A fans, we're hunters, and when we were looking at building our next company, we saw that this was a disenfranchised group of people sure. um, with financial services in general. So we came at it with the fact of, this was an opportunistic, like we built a product and found a market to fit it that was being underserved. We built our product for this market and for this community. Yeah, necessity breeds invention, right? Absolutely. For sure, for sure. And then you're uh, you're involved in the in this because you I am. Well, you know, I, I saw it, you know, on, on a global scale. I, I met Michael Seifert, CEO of Public Square, uh, you know, 18 months ago, and he just basically during COVID lockdowns, it's like I, I want to start supporting businesses that share my values, not giving yeah. into you know woke corporate. You know, I can I can go to the coffee shop there that shares our values, and you can find that on Public Square, or I can go to Starbucks, who's going to take my hard earned dollars, weaponize it against us, and this goes across the board, right? right. So we, we started talking and growing, and you know, th there's a real market. People have been disenfranchised, not just in firearms, but across the board, where they see that you know, where, where do I go? I, I'm giving these people money, and they're spending literally my hard-earned dollars against me and my values and everything that we believe in on a daily basis. And so uh, we, we went public uh, last summer, uh, you know, and just creating an incredible uh, thing to enable people to find and spend money with, with those people so you're not essentially funding your own demise. Right. Uh, so we did that and we said, now we gotta go to the next level. We, we gotta vote with our values, we gotta vote you know, in elections, but we also can vote with our dollars. Mm -hmm. You cut off the dollars, that's, that's, the, that's the snake, yeah. right? If you make that go away, it makes it so much harder for them to go after us in woke corporate America, which they've done. With firearms and this partnership between Public Square and Cordova, is, it's such a no-brainer because it, you're linking the obvious. You saw the bank cancellations, not just for consumers who were doxxed because, you know, hey, you, know, you had MAGA sign or you, you, you bought a Bible. We saw that last yeah. week. I mean, you bought a Bible, you're now on an FBI list. Show up but, a, a presidential uh, speech. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, now, I'm on every list, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> By the way, anyone in this room is now on a list. Okay, so, uh, yeah, just, but get over it. Now that you're on the list, you might as well fight accordingly. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, linking these businesses up, we saw the banks cancel people, you know, for buying firearms or doxing them, but also uh, eventually the small business. I make a screw that goes in a SIG, it's like, you're out. 
you, you can't get financing for your business anymore. So uh, creating that platform that's, that's not going to cancel you, uh, that gives you the ability to finance these things and these kinds of purchases. We've seen with first-time gun buyers, so many of them, because they see what's going on in our country. They see the crime. They see the, the immigration crisis and everything that's downstream of that. You know, the majority of the gun purchases now are just really from first-time buyers uh, who are getting into it. So we think it's an incredible opportunity to bring this to the public. Yeah, we say uh, targets, I mean, their logo is a target. How can they not like? Yeah, shop? keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find it and you know, with other ones like Stripe and PayPal, you know, I've had those shut down just because oh, yeah. I have an FFL. I'm a Type Seven Class Two in upstate New York, uh, but I teach to, teaching yeah. classes, teaching people how to defend themselves and such is my main business. And, and I don't even do the guns as much, but just trying to, to have somebody sign up for a class, uh, both Stripe and PayPal have shut me down just because I'm connected to my other company that does guns. I, I've had Stripe shut us down, I, you know, me going to give a speech to evangelical Christians, just like just to cancel the event because they can. Right. Uh, I had PNC Bank for a, a MXM News, which is a news aggregator app where just take news from all over the place, even even leftist things, just so you can you know, form your own opinion, but not just by being biased by what, you know, Google search shows you on the first 700 pages, which is, you know, the CNN version of the story, not the truth. Uh, you know, they just literally shut down our bank account. We they didn't even call us. Like, it was just like, we, we, we thought we were hacked and someone stole our operating account because it was at zero. And we call what's going on. Oh, yeah, sorry. You know, we, we just don't want to do business with you. There's a cashier's check in the mail. And we're like, what? I, I mean, it, it's outrageous. This isn't anything controversial. We're not creating fake news. We're literally just giving people a chance to look at everything. The gun industry and gun buyers and honestly anyone conservative at this point is being actively targeted. And so what we need to do is create an alternate economy. Uh, you know, we, we have to do that. And it, it's gone over so well with Public Square. And when people finally find out that there's an option, you, know, you don't have to go on Amazon. I know you may have your account. You hit one button. Well, we can do that on public square now, and as we're growing, it becomes easier. We do have to take that extra second to set these things up and not just go with convenient, because you know, convenience is going to take us down a very bad road right now if we don't actually get involved and fight back. Yeah. Um, so on that note, uh, public square, uh, give us a little, little bit of information about your company and uh, you know the brainchild behind it. Happy to. We are the largest marketplace in the world of businesses that refuse to cancel you. So if you are a patriotic American and you love the country, the Constitution, and the values that that wonderful document protects, then you should know with blessed assurance when you're shopping that you're funding companies that feel that same way. And right now, more than ever, we have an economy where the power structures of society, the profit centers are shifted against us. And our goal is let's use consumer spending. Let's use a great, easy to access marketplace supporting small and medium sized businesses that make our country special. Let's use those tools and that alternative economy to actually shift the profit centers back toward we the people. That's our goal. So uh, we started 18 months ago, launched nationwide. We hit a million members on the platform faster than Twitter, Airbnb, Spotify. The movement has grown exponentially. We're the largest compilation of these types of small businesses in the country as well. So we're going actively to try to replace some of the institutions that for years were supposed to serve small businesses and now they don't, like the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. And so as this parallel economic ecosystem is growing, we're learning who we're serving and what they need the most. One of the biggest areas that we have felt really led to, largely because we all are 2A nuts, but also because we know it's one of the areas of greatest need, is the gun community. If you are a firearms manufacturer, I was talking to one yesterday and he said, I've had my bank cancel me. I've had my access to financing cut off. I have had protesters all because I'm just trying to exercise the second amendment. And so our goal, when I met with this gentleman, I said, let me get you hooked up to your new banks. Let me source some financing options for you. Let me get you consumers because more than anything else, what a business wants is traffic. They want conversions. And so when we can actually provide these sorts of services to businesses uh, and consumers feel like they're liberated again with their purchasing power, I believe that ultimately, as Don mentioned, you have this new environment where your vote is not limited to every two or four years. Your vote is every single time you swipe your card. Every purchase, every yep. cent. Yeah. You got it. And, and I think the viewers and listeners need to understand, too, that you know, when, when you got Bud Light and Target and all the, all the, uh, the, the, the fighting against them and, and, and not going to those locations, not spending your money there, uh, spend your money elsewhere. Like, in, in, these, in these areas that can pay attention. 
And you always hear people say, well, you know, my vote doesn't count and, you know, it, does, it doesn't matter. Your vote counts. And your vote counts on a daily basis where you spend your money. Yeah, so definitely. I appreciate you guys coming. I appreciate what you're doing for the industry because we've been, you know, the buzz is there and the classes that I teach all around the country to instructors down to end user students just want to protect yeah. themselves. They're constantly saying, I wish there was another place to go other than these, you know, these, the A word company. Well, that's what it is. And it exists. And it's, it's just in its infancy. Yeah. But there is so much demand. Again, you know, there, there's a true frustration out there. And I spend more time probably out in the field, you know, in real America than, yeah. than anyone. They, they just don't know. And now, you know, again, go on publicsquare.com, check it out, start doing it. You can, you can take the time. You can, you can purchase stuff there, but you can also, you know, if you're traveling, you know, find the restaurant. I mean, we did this in Washington, D.C. at yeah. CPAC. Like, it was like, it's like 20 of us, Matt Gates, me, uh, Laura Bober, and, uh, Kerry Lake. And we're like, well, where can we go to the dinner where we're not going to get thrown out? And we went on Public Square, found 20 restaurants that were just already on the app. So they've signed that pledge. They believe in these things. We, we had an amazing time. The whole restaurant's cheering us as we come in the, in the heart of Washington, D.C., which is, <laughs> let's great. just say, you know, not exactly Trump. Right. But, like, like, <laughs> if we're going to be honest. So, so you know, it, it exists. There are people all over the country that are feeling this, even even in, you know, deep blue places like that. And so, you know, we can do that. We just got to take the time. So, yeah, I, I recommend everyone, you know, check it out on publicsquare.com. Learn about it. Support it. We just got to make those efforts. We can't just take the easy route because they've weaponized the easy route. Yeah, for sure. And sure. even from the, the banking side, and this is, we were talking about this earlier, like America's gone from 30,000 banks in 1930 to less than 5,000. Ten of those banks control 77% of the banking assets. We have a huge centralization problem in our banking system. I, we're saying public square is that place now. They have so many great banks, community banks. Move your deposits, people. Please go move your deposits. Don't bank with people that hate you. Go to Public Square. Yeah. Find a bank. We win the battle by small yeah. businesses going and supporting them, by moving our deposits to banks that actually appreciate and uphold our values. And Public Square is a place to go do that. Yeah, and growing those banks. Hey, I, by the way, I, I couldn't get a bank, even in Florida where I live. And I, like, I have a hard time paying for my own dinner where I live. Like It's a super MAGA community, like an area. Uh, and, and even though, well, you know, it's political, so we don't, you know, maybe I'm like, I can't get a checking account. Like, are you like, it's shocking. But you know, again, if they can do it to me, right? Where I, I have you know, platform of millions of people, I can go and talk smack really hard, yeah. really back, and probably sure. actually hurt them. If they can do it to me, if they can do what they're trying to do to my father, uh, you don't think they're going to do it to you? If they can do it to them, they can do it to anyone. And more importantly, if they will do it to them, they've yep. they've shown their hand. Yeah. Yeah, and that's uh, that's a scary scary thing. We've turned a corner there, and uh, you know we're all uh, all praying for twenty twenty four to have a, a resurgence. Oh. Yes, we'll we are. Right. <laughs> so, make sure you like, subscribe, share, click that little bell thingy. Uh, Public Square, Cordova, yeah, get involved. Stay safe. Hello, my name is Clint Macro. I'm the administrator of National Train a Teacher Day. National Train a Teacher Day is a grassroots movement of firearms instructors, safety instructors, defensive instructors, and first aid instructors who are offering free training to teachers, school staff, administrators, and anybody that works with youth in a leadership capacity. We offer this training on what we call National Train a Teacher Day. This year is our seventh National Train a Teacher Day and we're observing it on June 22nd, that's Saturday, June 22nd, 2024. On this day, teachers, school staff, administrators, and anyone that work with youth in a leadership capacity can take advantage of this training at absolutely zero cost. Visit the National Train a Teacher Day website, that's nationaltrainateacherday.com, and you can find an instructor in your area who is offering training. If you're a firearms instructor, safety instructor, first aid instructor, or something like that, and you would like to offer your services for National Train and Teacher Day, if you visit the website and look under the volunteer page, you can find ways to volunteer your services for that day. I'd like to thank the United States Concealed Carry Association and Sabre Pepper Spray, both of which have been sponsors for many years, are continuing with their sponsorship. And what that means is any instructor that's teaching one of their classes from their curriculum that's certified to teach it, uh, is eligible to get free training supplies from the parent organizations, and that helps to defer costs. Again, this training is for free for teachers, school staff, administrators, and anybody that works with youth in a leadership capacity. So I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in classes. Uh, spread the word. Uh, this is a grassroots movement, so we can use your help in getting the word out there to those end users. For more information, visit nationaltrainateacherday.com. Remember, 
This year is the seventh year we're doing this, and it's on June 22nd, 2024. Thank you very much. There's a lot of sponsors that make this show possible, like Mantis. Make sure you check them out and give them your business. Meet the Pressers is brought to you by Mantis X. Mantis X helps shooters suck less. Next Level Training. Makers of CERT training products. Saber Red. Saber Red has been making men and women cry since 1975. Meet the Pressers is also brought to you by these fine companies, shows, and organizations. Thank you. Thanks for watching or listening to our show. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, click that little bell thingy so you know when the next episode's uploaded. Support us on Patreon. Come to one of our classes. Host us to come to you and do one of our classes at your location. And until next time, adieu. Thank you for watching Meet the Pressers.